I just took a t-shirt pattern and added some trim to it and this is the final result and I love it you can take any t-shirt pattern I use simplicity 1325 I love that pattern I've used it for several different things and I had this little thin trim in my stash I put some wash away tape at the top on the center of the top one on each side of the center point and then once the sticky tape was applied to the top I took the trim and stuck the trim on top of the sticky tape and then I just sewed everything straight down and this is the result it's so simple so easy and I think the results are really nice now if I were to do this again I would probably add another little strip down the side I think that would be cute too so my next sewing make is this dress right here which is McCall's 8213 and I made view B I purchased this striped fabric from a local store here in California it's called M and L they are in Anaheim California they only had a little bit of fabric so that's why I decided to go with view B and I ended up really liking it I bought the pattern for view C the dress has straps it has elastic that goes under the straps above the bust area there is a ruffle that is gathered at the bottom there aren't any pockets or anything and the pattern is rated as very easy there are also front gathers that go right above the bust area most of the pieces in the pattern were to be cut on the fold however the amount of fabric that the pattern called for did not allow you enough fabric to be able to cut everything on the fold so if I ever make this pattern again I will be sure to purchase a little more fabric so that I can cut all the pieces out on the fold that were meant to be cut on the fold so don't judge me my love share is something that you may know but I had no idea and that is two main ingredients in Thousand Island dressing are ketchup and mayo Say what? tell me I'm not the only one that did not know that 